As we prepare for the celebration of Easter, I'm delighted to be able to be with you once again here in the kitchen of the Bishop's Residence to show you how to make something for your Easter basket. You know, the Easter blessing of baskets and Easter food is really a reminder that our days of the Lenten season of fasting and abstinence are now coming to an end. And what we have sacrificed during the Lenten season, we can now enjoy as the first meal of Easter. I'm going to be showing you how to make an Easter butter lamb. The lamb symbolizes Jesus, who is the Paschal lamb, the lamb that was slain, the lamb that was offered in sacrifice to the Father. And indeed, through his sacrifice of Good Friday, we rise to the glory of the Easter season. So what you need for the recipe is rather simple. One stick of butter, a little bit of non-stick spray, a few whole cloves, a little bit of parsley and a radish, an ornament of a resurrection banner and a nice toothpick. And most importantly, I have an Easter lamb butter mold. You want to coat the inside of both parts of the mold with your non-stick spray. That way, when you're ready to take the butter out of the mold, it'll come out very easy. So what you're going to do now is unfold your softened butter, and I cut the butter in about half. So you've got about two ounces of your butter. And I've left this butter out so you can see that it's really nice and soft. So what I do with half of the butter stick is put it into the major part, and then I spread it into the entire mold. So you can see there, I've got half the mold filled. Very easy. So I'm gonna just repeat that process in the second mold. So we wanna make sure that we put the mold together and you just push it down firmly, depending on what the mold you, you have. And sometimes the molds are a little simpler and they'll ask you to supply your own clamps. You can use alligator clips or whatever you might wanna do. These are nice in the mold that I have because as you see, they just slide in and there's four of them. But what you wanna do then, because the butter was soft to put it into the mold, we need to make sure the butter hardens. Put them in the freezer overnight just to make sure they're nice and firm when they're coming out. I've just taken my butter lamb out of the freezer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the butter lamb out of the mold. Look how magnificent that came out because of the non-stick spray. It's part of the secret. This is how your lamb is gonna stand out from anyone else's lamb. Now, most people might just say, I'll just put my butter lamb as it is. <sighs> now, we need to do a little bit of detailing. I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna start to make this butter lamb have texture so that it looks like fur. And we're gonna use these cloves to be the eyes and the nose. One of the important things about this lamb is it's to symbolize the Paschal lamb. And whenever you see the Paschal lamb in beautiful artwork throughout the centuries, what does the Paschal lamb have in his arm? The resurrection banner. And then we're gonna place the Paschal banner very much like the lamb would be holding it. If you don't have these, this is a great opportunity to really have the children take part and they can just with a plain piece of white paper, they could make a Paschal lamb banner. To kick up your presentation, what I like to do is I take some fresh parsley, putting this around nicely. And it's a great symbol. It's green and it symbolizes new birth. I have here a red radish, which is nice because it symbolizes the blood of Christ. Do a thin slice of my radish and I like to do five pieces of radish to symbolize the five wounds of Christ. And I like to put the fifth piece, which always symbolizes his pierced heart as the halo. So what do you think? Um, not bad for an old, poor country bishop. I hope and pray that uh, this opportunity to come back again this year and look at another piece of uh, the Easter basket or the Easter foods is something that is not just uh, enjoyable to watch, but I really invite you to do it with your family, uh, with your friends. It's a wonderful way of entering into a, the wonders of this Easter season and celebrating the glory of the resurrection. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And thank you for all that you do to support the church and as a disciple of Christ, 
May the glory of the risen Christ envelop you and your families this Easter and forever. God bless you and happy Easter.